Hi everybody, Wendy here and today I'm here with you to make a Tilda card with um, Tales of New Me from Prima. So I'm just starting out with some um, basil white card stock and I'm cut, it's a 12 by 12 inch and I'm just cutting it to 12 by 6 to make a 12 by 6 card. So I'm just cutting the end off now because it would be, if I cut it now it wouldn't be a true 12, uh, 6 by 6 card. So this is where I'm just cutting it now at 6 inches along the top. So I've got two card pieces and I'm just going to score it at 6 inches down the middle. You can't really see it. And then just folding it in half. And there we go. My job at top. At my six by six card, twelve by twelve. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so these are papers I'm using. They're the Tales of You and Me um, by Prima, and I know I've got it upside down there, so just ignore it. I do turn it round. There you go. Silly me. <laughs> and these are the papers I've chosen to use on my card. So quite uh, sort of shabby looking and I'm just taking the ends as you can see a 6x6 six six paper pad is really good for making cards because um, you're pretty much especially if you, you're like me and you the cards you make are normally 6x6 six six. so I'm just going to um, trim off um, at so like a quarter of an inch um, so I'm cutting the piece of paper down to five and three quarters on two sides and what that will do will give me a nice white border this is personal choice you don't have to cut it off um, you can keep it on there if you want to and just have the card go into corner to corner there we go there's my piece of paper. Now you can see me here. I'm I I saw that um, side of the paper I was using, and I thought that hmm, that's quite nice. I had originally chosen to use that side, but I thought I like that side better, so that's the side I go for. Do excuse my phone. Um, I'm just uh, using my favourite glue. To, uh, add my paper to my card, and that's Colour Glue. I love it. It doesn't um, warp your paper, and I use it all the time. I've just transferred it to a, a smaller bottle. I'm just sticking it down. There we go. Making sure I've got it the right way up, because I have done that before. So here I'm just deciding what paper I want to use next. Um, so those uh, two top pieces I'm going to make a tag out of and the butterfly piece I actually cut butterflies out the butterflies out and the uh, the piece that says postcard on it I don't actually use that piece it's the other three pieces I use um, and a bit later on you'll see although I do cut two tags out the bottom two pieces I only actually use one of them in the end and do um, excuse my gruffy voice and my medication um, for some reason deepens my voice, my blood pressure medication. Um, so that's why my voice is a bit gruffy. <coughs> it annoys me terribly. So there we go. So I just trimmed all those pieces. Now that's the image I'm going to use, and it's by Tilda, by Tilda, by Magnolia, and it's a Tilda. I coloured it in distress inks. Um, and here I've just um, cut out all my die cut pieces. Um, I used some Sue Wilson ones and some um, various leaf shaped um, dies. And I'm just uh, roughing up, distressing the edges of the uh, tag. And that I don't actually use that tag in the end. And sorry for being a little bit off camera. Um, uh, so I'm just uh, inking the edge. Of the image that I'm going to use that I coloured in, lovely Tilda, with some walnut stain. 
and then um, this paper what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rip it because um, I want a very sort of shabby chic sort of you know very distressed looking uh, feel to my card so I'm going I'm just uh, ripping and if you if you notice <laughs> I realize what I've done if you rip one way you don't get the what the white edge and if you rip um, a different way you get the white edge and it was the white edge I wanted and I realized that after I <laughs> so I had to take another uh, you know a piece off because I wanted to ink the white edge and then sort of ruffle it up a bit um, just uh, but in my um, cards got to uh, size so I can mount my um, image on it Making sure it fits. I didn't like that sticky out foot corner at the bottom, so I, I decided to uh, rip that bit off as well. And then I realised the flowers I had were upside down. <laughs> but there we go. Well, that fits perfectly. If you wanted a more tidy looking um, uh, background to your image, you could just um, cut an oval out of a, a die and, and mount the image on that. I do prefer an image mounted onto something rather than just flat. It gives dimension. So I'll just uh, rip that other piece of paper there. Now I'm just sort of like playing around at the moment, sort of trying to um, work out what my composition is going to be. Um, and I do like what I've just done now, but I end up not doing it like that, <laughs> like that in the end anyway. Um, so I'm just getting um, some distress ink. I, I did hold that up too um, fast for you to see the colour of its forest green. So I'm just inking the edge of my, the uh, die cut flowers that I've um, done. I could have used, um, you know, um, leaves that are already sort of that you get within flower kits or something, but um, I wanted uh, um, quite a few, and I wanted to die cut some colours. And I like the colour of the green. And if I'd have used a brighter green, it just wouldn't have gone. So that was a really nice colour. It was that's basil um, cardstock I used to cut out the leaves. I'm just bending the leaves in the middle just to give them, when I put them down, a little bit of dimension so they're not flat. So adding ink and uh, just bending them in the middle, you know, giving them a crease in the middle gives them a little bit of a bit more dimension so they're not so flat on the card. It depends the look you're going for, to be honest. I do like um, a lot of dimension to my cards. I don't particularly like them flat, although that does obviously cause other problems when you want to post it. You know, because obviously you need to put them in a box or something. But, but to make a box of cards really easy, and I'll show you that one um, maybe in one of my next videos. I'm just inking the edges to the various uh, greenery that I've got here. I love those little dauber um, because they're brilliant. For, you, know, you can get right into where you want to go. They're not too big. So I really like them. I do have quite a few of them. Okay, so now I'm just finishing finished my leaves, and they look better um, already um, that I can see. Um, so I'm just um, I've got some lace here. And I'm just trying to figure out um, where I want to put the lace, whether I want it going across the bottom. Um, so I'm just cutting it um, at the moment um, just a little bit longer because I just want to see um, how I want to use the lace. Um, I did measure two pieces out. That's a lovely piece. Um, and another piece I was going to use, I was going to put underneath. And then I realised that if I did it like that, then I'm not going to see the... Um, Paper underneath, which happens sometimes when you you know you have a, a sheet that you're using that's got some detail on it, you end up covering it up even though you don't really want to. Um, so I decided not to put them along the bottom in the end. Um, I, uh, um, and, and I only use one of them. Um, I uh, use one of them down the side for the ones with the ribbon. 
So I'm just inking the uh, ripped pieces, and again, I realise I'm not in camera. And I really must. Um, uh, I do struggle with it, and I'm not going to lie, I do. Um, you know, because obviously, you know, you sort of you work your hands work closer to your chest than they do further away. So it's it's just making sure that you were forward enough that. And I forget, because I get so engrossed in what I'm doing. Yeah. So, um, I'm using old paper, uh, Distress Inks, um, to add to the um, edge of the uh, pieces that I've left up. Um, I don't want them too dark, I, um, but I do want, don't want it to be stark like I want to give it sort of like that old paper look. And that's um, when I then sort of like, sort of, Crinkle the, uh, you know, sort of roll up the edges and sort of distress them a bit more. Um, you can also, if you wanted to, spritz the, um, around the edge, and that will also, or even you know, sort of screw it up in, a, in a, you know, the paper up. I've done that before, but that gives a good effect. Um, but I'm just going for the edges because there wasn't any point screw, you know, sort of um, make, screwing it all up because. Uh, I'm going to be covering it up anyway, so it was just the edges I was worried about. I'm just adding a little bit more uh, old paper, distress ink there, yeah, because there's a little bit too much white showing. I wanted to get rid of the white look. I haven't made a card in a long time. Um, I, ha I don't, I haven't crafted as much, although I hate not crafting. Um, there's been so much going on, as <laughs> some of you know. Um, I have, um, I don't put as much on my Facebook anymore because I found I was uh, ranting a little bit too much. But, you know, when you haven't got a lot you know, of uh, outlet, that sometimes Facebook tends to be that, unfortunately. So I'm, at the moment, I'm just sort of again working out how I want my composition to go of my card. Um, so the image is my focal point. What I want to do is uh, make sure that everything around it complements the image, doesn't cover it up, and um, I'm just adding, you know, the little details that I, uh, you know, sort of makes the card pop, but doesn't overcrowd the actual image, which is your focal point. So I'm just looking at the two laces now and deciding, um, do I want to use them? I did, I, I did like that, um, and. I didn't, but I didn't go for that in the end. Um, I only went for one of the laces. I used the one with the ribbon on it, and um, I did actually um, cut it in half in the end. And we'll see in a moment. So I'm just cutting some uh, uh, wood chip up. This is uh, from Scrap Scrapmatic. Um, this is like a doily piece. So I'm just cutting the. Uh, you can't actually see it because again I'm off camera, but you. They're just little pieces of little flowers, little wood flowers. There you go. You've got a quick glimpse of them there. I do apologise about that. And I'm just cutting them in half so I can add them around the edges. It just makes your um your uh, stash go quicker. There's no point uh, go quicker, last longer because there's no point using the whole circle of that flower because only half of it's showing. So you know, cutting it in half, cutting it in half just makes it go further. So I'm just deciding where they're going to go. I didn't like them. Um, on the actual side because it, um, I didn't like the balance that it had with the, the scrap and the lace it had on one side and also, again, because I was going to add flowers I would have ended up cut, covering them over and I didn't want to do that. So I'm just adding some uh, foam pads to my, the back of my image. Good old foam, pa foam pads. If you uh, find foam pads too expensive I also um, use Keeper Stash of um, cardboard corrugated type that's uh, especially the thicker different thicknesses um, is really good which is what I'm using now for my scrap because that's brilliant for uh, adding dimension to the back of your uh, um, anything that you want to make pop up rather than it being flat. So I do use cardboard a lot it's brilliant and it's cheap it, if it comes in you know it doesn't cost anything because it's in being used in something that I've had delivered so it's not costing me anything. I'm just adding this image, and then I remember I want to use some um, what they call is it Cecil Cecil, which is that like a uh, stringy stuff. 
that adds um, texture to your card. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. Um, so I've got there. Make this big. I'm just making a, it into sort of like a ring. And again, so I do apologise for not being on camera. I do move it over there. Because okay. um, I want it to sort of stick out from the edge of my actual image. So I'm just sort of spreading it out. I probably used um, more than I should have because I think I ended up having to trim to you know there we go. So I'll pull it off. Um, because it gets everywhere. <laughs> but, but you can either use um, this, which is sisal, or you can use um, cheese cheesecloth. E either work. Either one gives a nice texture. You know, behind the card, and I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue now, just to sort of keep it in place. I'm not going to use uh, hot glue all the way around because um, the card, once that's um, the um, focal image, once that's um, hot glue down, will keep it in place. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue just to make sure. I know um, I use sticky foam pads, um, but sometimes I find after a while. Um, it does, they do tend to come up, so um, I use a, use a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it's in place. Okay, so I have my focal image, and now I'm just going to add some cardboard to the, back of, to the back of that, and also some more to uh, my image because um, I want both of them to be popped up, but uh, I need to make sure that they, they, they're sort of more level rather than, otherwise, it, it wouldn't look right. That's what I'm doing. I haven't really done a voiceover before. Um, I normally talk in my videos, but it was. Uh, I thought I'd give it a go. You might like it. You might not like it. I have got a, a proper microphone, but for some reason I couldn't set it up. So here's where I'm just using the cardboard and hot gluing it. Just to sort of raise that one side so the uh, two pieces um, are level. Okay. Blue strings get everywhere they go on the net. I know you guys can feel my pain. Now I'm just sticking my composition down. I do love Tilda. I haven't bought any for a long time because um, the prices of well, the well, Tildas anyway. Um, I've very, 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 just for one stamp, it's nearly twenty pounds now. So I don't, I unfortunately, don't buy them anymore because they're just too expensive. But I do; they are my favourite stamps. Those in Lily of the Valley. Um, but they've stopped making their stamps now. They're just doing digital art. Um, I believe. Right, so I'm just figuring out where I want to put this lace. So I want to tuck it underneath. And then I realise if I do that, I'm going to hide the uh, ripped paper that I um, have put there because this lace is quite wide. Um, yeah, so I decided to um, cut it in half, just cut the um, the ribbon bit off, which I use on a tag a bit later anyway. Now I can add that to the side of my card, and you can still see the ripped um, effect there. There we go, which I think looks better. So just a little bit of hot glue to tack down. I don't need to do it all the way; just doing a few odd, odd pieces of hot glue just to keep it in place. Okay, good. Mm. 
das schon mehr Platz dann gehabt. I always find when I make a card they're they're very evolving. I sort of start off with a, a sort of idea of how I want it to go. Um, I never have anything, not unless I'm following an actual sketch, but even then I will still put my own um, sort of flair on whatever ever sketch that I'm doing. A little card sketch or scrapbook sketch. Um, I use them all for inspiration and everything. I'm just adding the uh, two pieces now. So I put two there, and I think I also add one to the top here. Or not, I can't remember. Would you believe I made it last night? There we go. Add those to the bottom. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't add them to the top. There we go. Right, so I was going to use both of those uh, little tags that I used, but in the end I only used one of them. But I will, I will keep the other one and just add it to a, another card. Um, right there. I've got some more images that I've coloured in. I'm just adding a bit of cardboard to that just to give that some dimension as well. And then I'm going to add that to the side. I took the ribbon out of um, that piece of lace that I cut out and just used it. And again, I'm off camera and I do apologise. And I just used it on the on top of that. And I believe um, the two, um, I can't remember the make of the, uh, it's not, it's not, a, it's very similar to a tilde one, um, die cut, die, um, but it's not, it's, I can't remember, it's, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I will um, add it to the, uh, to die who makes it it's um off the top of my head it's my fibro blank head it's uh, yeah so I decided to put the um the uh, tag at the bottom there. Okay. and then I'm gonna create my uh, flower cluster just above it so I always when I'm making a flower cluster I always have one or two possibly um main the biggest flowers and then I build up from there some smaller flowers and some um, so that's the flower that I'm going to use as my main and then I build up from there. I, I always do my flower clusters uh, pretty much all, all the time like that. Just cut me under. Well, I had the wrong scissors when I was trying to cut this bit off. I probably ruined the scissors. But anyway, I can't use my big, um, big Tim Holtz ones because I've accidentally glued them together. <laughs> it's not the first time I've done it. I've got another pair that I've glued together as well. It's really good glue. It's just I can't get them open, so I need to. Uh, yeah, and I just realised here that I accidentally um, sort of glued the uh, little bit of ribbon that I put there underneath the flower, so I was just pulling that out. So I'm just continuing with the little cluster I'm creating. It's a little satin flower that I'm adding. And then I'm in white, and I'm just building up around it a selection of white and pink, a different co you know, colours of pink. Um, that's, that flower's a bit like um, an orchid sort of type. Got some very soft ones. I'm just adding that. I have no idea um, uh, where I've got all the flowers that I've got there. Um, they're just from my stand. So I didn't. That flower's a little bit smaller. So this is what I tend to do. And then there's a bud. Which that bud is um, from um, Gerard Deluxe, the uh, lip that grows that little bud. It was just an odd one I had left over from when I was on their DT. So, uh, yeah, they're lovely. They're uh, sort of like fabric with a little bit of gold on them, so they fit in the seam of the uh, card that I was using. So, I'm just checking at the moment whether I need to uh, 
add some more flowers or colour. I wanted to use this sort of like a uh, viney type flower, but um, when I added it, first of all, uh, I didn't like the way it was sort of sticking out from under the card. It didn't look like I wanted it to be coming out from underneath the under the flowers. So um, I did change where I was going to put put that because I just didn't like it. I was trying to tuck it underneath the flowers, but what I should have done was laid them down first. But I didn't. So I just didn't. So you can see here, I'm just changing where I'm going to put them, and I've got hot glue stuck to them. And So I think I put them just under the tag in the end. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That position um, looks more um, natural. It just it just didn't feel natural. The composition of how I had the flowers when they were just sort of coming out from underneath the card. This looks a lot better. So there we go. Yes, I'm much happier with that. And just, and that's too big, so take that away. Maybe don't like that. Oh, good girl, that one's too big. So I'm just adding the just like a very very small flower cl cluster onto the other side of the image again, just to uh, so that where my my focal point is, and then that that bigger flower cluster. I don't want it sort of pop heavy. One side of the, of the card, so I do do that. And I'm just adding my leaves now. Those leaves, that leaf I'm using there is from Joy Crafts. Um, the, they, that one is a Sue Wilson, I believe. Um, I just. Sue Wilson dye. Love it. And. Just the same one for Sue Wilson. It makes so much of a difference adding um, some leaves or um, you know to a flower cluster. It just makes it look more um, natural, more real, and not you know sort of. It, it, although you're you're adding a sort of like a, um, a flat color, I would say even though it's been inked, it does make the actual flowers pop. Because they are, they're on a base of that greenery, so I do like it. I'm just adding some more of those sea root, um, the Joycraft um, dyed leaves. Get rid of some of the blue string. <laughs> I'm just snipping little bits of the leaves off so they you know, break them up and I want them to see. Cutting a leaf off for each side of that. You can put your um, add your flowers and that with um, different types of glue, like wet glue, but um, I do prefer hot glue. Um, I'm just adding the stick to now. I'm just trying to find a, a soft place to push them, push it in, and um, where I've added the hot glue. So I actually go um, down. I want to push it through so it stays, but I also don't want to pierce the other side of the card with the uh, stick. Thing. So I do sort of like have a little bit of fiddle around to make sure that um, it's going to be in the right place. And I do like adding the stick pin to the card. It hasn't gone through, I'll check. <laughs> so there we go. Looking good. I'm just adding, just using some filler flowers. They're like small flowers I'm just using to, um, tiny flowers, just around. Um, these are good if filler flowers are good if you've got a little bit of glue showing. 
Wonder if I do do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just add those are the butterflies I cut out of the uh, pieces of paper. Um, I used a die cut, which was a joy die, joy craft die, and then I added on top of it one of the little butterflies from the paper that I cut out. So I've got like a real nice 3D butterfly there. And then on the tag I also add um, a very small butterfly. I'm not one of the... Uh, um, fussy cutting is not my favourite thing to do. So um, if I can die cut it, I, I, you know, I'd rather die cut it than... But I liked the, um, you know, the, the colour and obviously it matched the paper I was using. So. I did uh, suck it up and cut the butterflies out. <laughs> But yeah, fussy cut is not my favourite thing to do. Some people love doing it and they sit there and that's, you know, watching TV and do it. Oh, I'd rather sit and colour than fussy cut. So there we go. So I've added my butterfly. Right, on the uh, that piece of paper there was um, a little uh, sentiment and it said simple things. Um, so I've added that and... A bit later on, it, when I decide to use the card or someone else wants the card, I can al always add, you know, something else like happy birthday or who mother's, you know, for Mother's Day. But I did like the wording on this that said simple things. So I just tucked that in um, and cut the uh, in, into a ribbon shape and then just inked the edges and then just uh, tucked it on top of the tag there. And I just think it uh, adds a nice uh, rounded thing to it. Memory, trying to remember to stay on camera. I know it's upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it did say simple things. There you go. So I just tucked it, I sort of bent it in the middle, gave it a little bit of so it wasn't too flat, and added a bit of hot glue, and then just tucked it underneath. There we go. Get rid of the hot glue pieces again. Okay, so now I've just got some little, uh, very tiny, very, um, these are little um, sticky back, flat back sort of, I don't know what you call them, but they're really um, glittery. I can't even remember where I got them from, but uh, I possibly was sent them. As a gift, and I do apologise if, if I've forgotten. Um, oh no, no, no! I remember now. I did buy this, this, and another colour off of a lady off of Facebook. I remember now. Um, I think I got an all white set and then the coloured one. So I'm just adding them in between the butterfly wings, and then just randomly around the card, and I'm putting them on the top too, even though they have got a sticky on the. They're a bit sticky on the back, but I do tend to find that after a while they fall off. And so I always add a little bit of hot glue. Only, only a dab. Um, so as you can see, I'm just randomly adding. You can use bigger, you know, sort of curls and that, but I just like the fact that they're nice and small and. But they've got so much bling uh, sort of effect to them, like glitter effect, and they're really lovely. There we go. I mean, as you can see, I do like a lot of detail on my cards. They're a bit like when I make a fabric book. I like a card to sort of like when you look at it, you notice something different every time. Um, so. You know, when the receiver gets it, I like them to think, oh, you know, they can look at them and you know, enjoy looking at it. Um, I have made simpler cards, but I do like in making cards with lots of detail and lots of texture. Um, I know there's some people say less is more, but um, 
you know, which is fine, but it tends to be more is more with me. <laughs> it's like knowing when to stop. I'm sure there's I'm not the only one out there that sort of like has to sort of like say, right, okay, that's enough. So I'm just adding another um, just a bling button from what I'm not even sure what flat back curl or whatever it is. And then I'm using sort of shades of pink. So that's like there's like greens and yellows and purples in there, but I'm just putting them in bit shades of pink. So as you see now you can see look I hold it up the you know the shimmer that they give and they're really lovely. A quick tidy up around me and I'm just looking at the card to see right okay this is my when you know it's less more and I decided no <laughs> so I've got some snow text um, and I love the texture of this you can use um, just a nor normal gesso or white acrylic paint I do like the uh, effect of snow text because it's, uh, it's quite um, well, obviously it's a snow effect, but it gets not it adds texture, um, which I do like. So I've just added some to the just edge, edges of my flowers, gives it a more shabby sheet look. And the good thing about snow text when you put it on is it shows up any um, clue strings as well that might be still on your card. So I'm just adding them to just a dab to the edges of my um, flowers and leaves, and. Um, just around the card, just to give it a bit more of a shabby look. I'll add some to the wood pieces that I've added. So it gives them, you know, just dabbing it on, gives them lots of texture. And also around the edge of the card. I'm just adding this makes your paper not look so flat and gives it sort of like a I don't know, not concrete sort of look but sort of more of a more sort of like um it's not so flat what can I say and then I realise I accidentally uh, not that it matters I accidentally um covered one of those little gem things that I was using. <laughs> mm. Silly Billy. And it's I like an, it is totally personal choice when I say that um this my card has probably got way too much on it for some people and that is perfectly fine because it is totally personal choice. Some people prefer simpler cards. Um I like this is like the style of cards that I like, and they are very me um, style of cards. Um, so yeah, it's personal choice. And it's what it's what art it, art is all about, um, and it it's not just about making a card. It is about sort of like different techniques and things that you're using. So an art and techniques are very personal to the person that's using them because they, you know. Unless I get somebody who specifically wants a card done in a certain way, any card I make is always, if I'm just making a just because card, um, just because I you know, want to do a video or just because I fancy making a card or I've got an image I want to use, um, I will nine times out of ten make them in, in a style that, that I enjoy. Um, so I'm just adding some more to the outside of the uh, image. Dabbing this in texture. The snow text is brilliant for this. It's absolutely brilliant. You can use um, texture paste, same thing. You can add a little bit of very, very fine sand to texture paste and do the um, same thing. 
So here I'm just adding a little bit of blue and then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter onto the edge, edges of the flower and uh, my butterflies as well. Um, normally I would do this with stickers but I couldn't find my stickers so I did use um, the like, sprinkled glitter with some um, clear colour glue. I'm just using just this sort of like fine glitter. I'm just sprinkling some on, try not to get it anywhere because I didn't want to waste it. I like that to be tight, but but you know what those crafters are like. I'm just sprinkling the blue, uh, the blue glitter into the uh, butterflies. And I had a little piece of glue which I just couldn't get to and it was annoying me so I tried to do it again <laughs> and again I'm just on patting it on here there we go, there we go, I patted it on <laughs> pink glitter and flowers and pretty much that's what you'll find on a lot of cards I do. If I do, I do use other. I don't just use pink, but um, you know. There we go. And the uh, when the, once the glue dries, the uh, glitter does show up some more. Um, it tends to be a bit dull. When you first add it, but once the glue's dry, it does glitter up a bit more. And I was quite good, I was quite good, I didn't get glitter everywhere, if you say. And then I find, um, in a minute, I glued that leaf down because it was, uh, the wood, it's going to fall off. It was a bit fragile, so I got glued it in place in the end. There we go. Did find I'm adding a little bit more glue because I did um, add a little bit um, finer glue. The glue I uh, glue. Glitter, it was um, a lot finer than the one I was using there, and so it showed up a bit more. You'll see me do that in a minute. Oh, I've already done that, I just didn't put that bit out, but um, I'm just brushing off any excess glitter that's covering the image. And uh, you can just see the glitter in there. It's a lot better. So there we go, thank you very much for watching, and uh, come again soon. Bye for now.